If you know my work, you know that I've been a devoted metalhead for some time. Many years, in fact, and for me, when I consider the experience of humoring new voices and being introduced to the graces of new artists, I intentionally maintain a broad window. Not just to names that might be evolving or well-established, I recognize a combination of those here, but as well where they're placed globally. There are so many countries that boast exceedingly admirable uh, rock and metal talents. I'm being inclusive to both spaces because that's the primary outlet of concentration here, with some deviations from time to time, dependent on on either your recommendations or my own personal pursuance. We, you and I together, in our collaborative explorations of numerous artists, which I've said first and foremost music is best enjoyed as a collaborative art in my opinion, we hop around to every country it seems and there's many I've not hit on yet. <laughs> But some, you know, in a greater concentration of share than others. I do stand by what I've said many times in that the metal world, in a broad sense, really offers quite an admirable voice. Whatever artist we're recognizing here, and there's not been one song or artist I've not loved enjoying with you, in whatever circumstances those take, especially in the territory of fresh debuts. I love these. Debuts to me. Because I... With a lot of these internationally based talents, I arrived to them late. And such is the case with Relica, who's been around for a little while now, but this debut album on part of their Nuclear Blast uh, membership, which, that's exciting, there's a connection point for me. I'm looking to this... I've been, for the last couple days, in fact, I've been meaning to hop onto this one. I've been quite excited, and we're going to cover this, I'll tell you in advance, man. Oh, by the way, before I go further, Relica, if you're also walking in, I want this to be open, you know, for anybody, whether you happen to be longtime fans or, like myself, Fresh Initiate listeners. Hopefully, this is an inclusive space for all, as we appreciate the talents of what I presume will be quite a recognizable and bombastic metal outlet. I'm looking forward to this. Just based on these two pieces, and the successor to this one, namely, in uh, uh, Albert album listing and, well, not actually, no, not album listing, uh, release date for the specific single. Relica really interests me, as well as another opportunity to dig deeper into progressive metal, which is a subgenre that admittedly I'm still learning a little more about in comparison to some of the others like heavy, symphonic, power. Progressive is one I'm a little newer to. I, you know, I've been, as I said, a metalhead for many years, but not necessarily in a, spe in a specified sense. I've been learning along the way. Again, a fresh debut in a number of respects, not just to artist credit, but as well Australian-based uh, uh, groups. We have recognized, this is the first group, not necessarily you know, one singer or another, that credit would go to Lauren Hart from Once Human. I believe she's out of Australia, though Once Human is an American-based group. And we have visited the neighboring country of Australia with Written by Wolves before, <laughs> you know, a favorite of mine. We happen back up to New Zealand quite often, but not Australia yet. Relica is that debut. And we're going to start with Terminal off their upcoming record, Secrets of the Future, which I believe is debuting in May. Yes. And the first two singles have released this and uh, Killstar, or The Coal, I think it's The Cold World, is it the complete title? Yes. That one I'm looking forward to because I have seen it, admittedly a little sample of it, uh, part of the preview for the visualizer, and the score immediately got me. But Terminal I'm walking into completely fresh. Other than a sense of, I have the lyrics pulled up so I can read along with this and understand the heart of the song, which already sounds quite inspiring if I'm getting the right gist of this. Terminal is feral, laced in doubt and the chronic worry of growing older and losing the person we thought we were on the way. So it's a song about identity and personalized uh, um, experiential growth. It's interesting in how I approach this. I mean, that's quite a common journey, I think, for many of us, but especially maybe the shedding of who we were. Let me read this again, because I was going to say I'm sort of the inverse, but I don't know. Chronic worry of growing older and losing the person we thought we were on the way. Mm, maybe I'm somewhere in between. Because I've read that statement first, I'm like, you know, I'm kind of on the opposite side of, you know, where I'm evolving as a person and in age and maturity. I'm finding myself commonly embracing this new sense of myself versus maybe what this is speaking to in retreating back to the former. But I don't know, maybe my, I don't know, I've always been a bit of an anomaly in life. I'm a bit of a mixture of things. I don't fit any stereotype. But automatically I can see the heart of the song and I do love metal pieces that have a superficial catharsis and quite evident uh, disclosure of humanity to them. It's part of the reason of why I embraced metal so early on. Terminal as a piece. Again, I'm walking into this song with a light sense of the direction here on narrative, but not in any way score or uh, lyrics. We're going to experience those together on a first-time debut and introduce ourselves to Relica, who will be... Um, 
spotlighted a bit differently because I'm starting with the newer pieces and I usually go in chronological order. I will tell you in advance because Relica has been around for some time and some of their pieces have been uh, well established at this point over the last couple of years. I have to this moment determined a selection of pieces from their past history that we will inquire on at a later date. But I wanted to start with these two because Killstar really brought me in. But Terminal maybe will boast that same strength. Let's see. But it's our first experience that we're taking together with Relica in a fully realized song slash visualizer. That's promising enough in the Nuclear Blast Records thing, or connection, that automatically brings me in. Here we go, Relica. The sense of what I know of power metal, it does utilize a bit of a newer sound, and it is quite inventive, and I already see a range being played around here, especially on the electronic cue. Modulated structures, not bad. Heavier root, you know I like my aggressive metal, so this is automatically clicking. Really good key realization too, a good field of notes that the harder riffs are bringing in, especially on the tail end of the verses. Good sustaining of notes, beautiful holds there. I love how I can hear the accent too, stressing the notes. It's just well woven into the background, it's integral. Fantastic melding on emotional sentiment and where the notes hit. A bit of a darker, tragic root. I love that harmony. I'm expecting an explosive chorus. Let's see. We're walking that way. Oh, that's a good line. This is a beautiful piece of transformation. Is that the same key or is there a shift? Okay, reversion. It's tempting to think there will be an alteration. I'm glad it returns back to the central root, though, because this... The score is imagined is evolving really well. Really electric choruses. I absolutely love this. Such dimension on the field of notes. And then the association on vocals. This is really getting me. I'm looking forward to Killstar even more now. Terminal's a beautiful setup. What a herald for a new record. I love the effect of repetition here on the line and how honest that is. It's already associating itself well to what I look for in music with that cathartic lens. It really is an admirable piece. That's beautiful. Wow. 
Talk about making a name for yourself of one number. Now, again, I know that Relica has a history, but that is a beautiful piece to introduce us to a group that definitely is going places with this new record, and I cannot wait to hear more. Killstar especially. The ambiance and feel to the notes picked for this song, plus the key is great. I love the hybrid between tragic and tempting. It's so nice. And it associates itself well to the direction of the narrative, which again, I love complex songs that are deeply human, and I sense that resonance. The repetition structure, by the way, on the bridge, rage, 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 against the way that I hate myself for what I created. Speaking again of identity transformation, it's so well articulated in other sections as well. Abandon all composure. Time sinks its teeth into my bones as I'm slipping further away from home. I know I kind of inverted that line. I apologize. Can't lose yourself when it's all you've known. Impossible. It's, I love the way that this is written. Again, I love honest songs. And it, it's a central presence here of the music I gravitate to immediately. It's, again, as I said, a prelude to experiencing this. That's what brought me into metal immediately, was again the honest lens of what oftentimes might, still in society, at least in my circles, had been treated for years with a sense of taboo. I was in a position of life where I needed some realism, at least stated, very artistically over a field of artists, and Relica is just another addition to that list that I, groups that I admire and return to continually, just in that sense of in connection and understanding of the human experience, the different extents of what that materializes to be. This piece is written very well, complemented beautifully by dynamic vocals and a good feel. Like I said, the notes, especially the last chorus, which is a satisfactory wrap up and slightly evolves the, um, uh, refrains of the chorus in previous appearances. Just with some slight notes, vocal choices, it really clicks as a section. Paired well with incredibly modern sound, good synth choices, heavy riff structures, bombastic foundation. I really like what's explored here. Central metal harshness. And again, I intentionally keep things open to any group. And there's quite a versatility within metal, not just in subgenre uh, appreciation, but with sound choices where groups tend to go. There are pieces that are you know, plenty of examples, too many to mention, that might field more into a ballad space or sort of in the middle space between that and a more uh, aggressive and loud, harsh but thrilling experience. Harsh in a positive sense, if you want to term it that way, like I am. Terminal immediately speaks to me, not just on a song in terms of its own honesty, and I can already see points of relevance for my own life's journey, even as I'm an early processing stage of understanding the heart of a song in each line, but I'm really mesmerized by each word in association to such a beautiful and luminescent score. Vibrant, dynamic, captures a lot here. There's so many layers to the song to, inner, to consider, not just again with the heavy roots and the synth choices, the balance, certain modulated beats. It has a real nice modern voice, but still the dominance and favorability of what I find so routinely in heavy metal. It establishes that, that core very well. It's a good song. One that I will, no doubt, today, as I have an errand to do in a couple hours, it will be on a frequent replay for me. And I'm sure that as we go into Killstar next, that will also be a similar experience. But in terms of an introduction to Relica that maybe we took together, or maybe you advanced me again in terms of how long you've known about this group, what do you feel about this piece? Are you excited for this new record? Because this immediately hypes me up. I'd love to hear about it down below. And again, I want to keep it inclusive to, ever, to whoever is approaching. So if you're a newcomer listener like myself, but is now, I would say, evolving, I, th you know, I don't want to speak for anybody, but I would imagine you're tempted as much as I am to humor more from Relica. And we will. I'd love to hear that as a similar disposition, of course, on your end. But I cannot wait for more adventures with this group. And we're just getting started. More on the way from what I've already planned and maybe more from this upcoming record. We'll see. You know, what I can slate around of time. But Terminal makes me extremely curious. I really like this piece. And going into Killstar, this is a fantastic fanfare for a new group to my ears that I immediately, like many metal credits, revere. Thank you so much for watching this video. Before you bounce, feel free to drop a like and comment, subscribe to this channel with a ding on the bell, and share this video with your friends. And consider checking out the description here. There you'll find links to my other channels, as well as addresses to my other social media accounts and ways you can help support my work if you feel so inclined. May God bless you, and looking forward to when our paths cross again.